Okay, this video is a follow-up to a video I made about increasing the RPM on a Honda commercial lawnmower. I've got a, it's a over a 20-year model HRC216 that I bought new and not long after I purchased it I noticed that the RPM was uh, low and it was causing some issues. It was clogging, it wasn't bagging wasn't packing the bag nice and tight. Anyway, I've gotten a lot of questions about the RPM and how to determine the RPM. So, first off, uh, this I've, I've used a couple of different uh, built-in tachometers on my equipment. This is the one that I've found has been the most durable, the most accurate, and long-lasting. And it's made, I got it off from Amazon, and it's made by Hardline Products. And it's an hour meter and a tachometer and it is really nice and what, what's good about it is all the electronics are potted in epoxy so it's you know gasoline isn't going to get into it vibrations aren't going to bother it it's moisture proof uh, it's, it's been really good and uh, I just bought another one for my pressure washer so here's here's the specs on it here's it's just really basic. You just wrap one end around the spark plug wire and the other end loops into the uh, sensor. It's all inductive and uh, it's only about 19 bucks. And like I say, the first one I got that I put on the mower has lasted for years. Anyway, um, I'm going to go out here now. I'm doing this right now because I've got the mower running so you can hear me. But I'm going to go out and show you at an idle and then at top speed uh, how the thing works and where I placed it. Obviously you don't want to mount it back where the fuel tank is. I mounted it up on the right hand front side where there, it's not going to interfere with anything. And I also wrapped the inductive wire. I, I took the shroud off the top and mounted the inductive wire around the base of the spark plug wire where it comes out of the coil. That way it's not going to interfere with anything if I'm going to be changing the spark plug. It's completely tucked in out of the way and uh, it worked out real good. Anyway, I'm going to go out now and show you the, uh, the unit itself. I'll show you it at idle and then at high speed. And again, I was told by a, uh, a tech, a certified Honda tech, don't take your RPMs over 3350, 3350 RPM. Stay under that. He said, oh, at, at that level, above that level, you can do damage to the valves. You can do damage to the, uh, uh, well, all kinds of things. You can overheat it because uh, it'll start running too lean, all, all kinds of problems. Anyway, uh, here, let's go outside. I just wasn't sure if you could hear me. Here's the mower. It's in pretty good shape for being, what, 20, 22 years old, something like that. I took this shroud off here. There's four 10 millimeter bolts. You pop this thing off. Underneath the air cleaner cover, there's one uh, Phillips screw, and that's that's it. You can take this top off to get access to the base of the spark plug wire. As you can see at idle, it's right around 2,000 RPM.
nice thing too, this is also an hour meter. Uh, it um, sh will show maximum RPMs uh, over the life uh, or, or over a period. It will show number of starts. So it, it's really a nice unit. And for 19 bucks, and the thing is sealed in epoxy, so it's not going to vibrate. And again, I just took the shroud off here and went around the base of the spark plug wire. That way it's not going to interfere when I pull the uh, spark plug wire off to do a change of the spark plug. And then there's a little metal bracket in here. I drilled a hole through it and put a, a zip tie around there to hold the wire so it wouldn't go up against the magneto. So, you know, this lead is comes in, it's about four feet long. I just cut it down to size. It just loops up in here. It's inductive on this end. You just push it in here and loop it up into the top of this. And uh, so you can adjust the length of the wire on either end. So it's, it's really a nice unit. And uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's my video about the RPM. If you want to see uh, my method for setting the RPMs because it's not just a matter of turning a screw on these things you've got to go in and Adjust back here on the uh, uh, Governor I've, I've got a another video uh, Under the same name that uh, talks all about adjusting the RPM on these and again I am not a Honda tech I don't, you know if you mess up your lawnmower. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not uh, don't hold me accountable. I'm, I'm not a representative Honda. So uh, I'm, this has just thoroughly been researched on my part and from talking to techs and from, from what I've read and uh, from the service manual I have, you do not want to go over 3,350 RPMs on this thing. And if you do turn up the RPMs, you really don't want to let the thing freewheel without the uh, uh, blade engaged. Oh, and here comes my supervisor. Sweetheart. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to answer your comments or questions.